morning, everybody. It is just before 10 a.m. sometime on Sunday. We are checking out in about an hour. It's finally raining like we were expecting it to all weekend, honestly. But that's okay. We brought umbrellas. And we're going to go for a quick walk up down the promenade before we leave. And then we're going to be driving down the coast towards Tillamook and Cape Mears and we're going to see what we can see and I'll bring you with us where we can and I'll be back. We stopped at Cape Mears at the lighthouse. We've been here before, but I'll bring you with us. It's a really beautiful view. Of course, it's damp and drizzly, but you know, it's Oregon. Land of much water, so I don't know what to tell you. I'll be back. This is Cape Mears. This is the Cape Mears lighthouse. We have, yeah, we've been here before. I'd recommend it for a quick stop. It's a beautiful view. It would be nice if it was clear and not windy and on cold. Yeah, yeah. It's way, can you see that back there? Way there? Anyway, I'm gonna take some still shots to do some art from, so I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning, May 16th, I think, uh, 9, 12 a.m. Obviously, we're I'm in the car. In case you didn't know, we're back home from the coast from our quick weekend away. We got home late, last, late yesterday, and we had so much fun, you guys. Found this cute little fish and chips place in Lincoln City. That was, oh, so much fun. You know, I'm backing up and I don't see anything back there. And big surprise, there's a um, garbage truck. Because it's garbage Monday. I think he almost hit me. Anyway, hang on. All right, so anyway, um, we had so much fun this last weekend. It was really a lot of fun. So if you're not a patron and supporter of the content here on YouTube and uh, the Facebook art groups and all that other stuff, you don't have to be. The content's still here regardless. But if you are a supporter, I do appreciate you very, very much. And I have started giving said supporters raw unedited clips as they happen of things that I do like weekends away with pictures and artwork that I'm doing while I'm there. I have an upcoming, not a whole weekend, just a day where we're gonna be going to the art museum in Portland and we're gonna be touring the art museum. Plus my daughter got me tickets to the Frida Kahlo exhibit. So I will be taking video and photos where I can and they allow me to and I will be sharing them live with the patrons and supporters. We have a private YouTube channel and a private Facebook group and um, they get longer versions of some of the tutorial videos. They get some of these raw unedited videos of things like the beach weekend. I can't include all of it for you all here because it's number one, just too much. 
um, and I edit some of it out, but they get to see all of it unedited, uh, and they seem to enjoy it. So anyway, we're going to do that this next weekend. If you want to see any of what's already been posted or be there for the Frida Kahlo exhibit that's going to be happening, then uh, become a patron, and the link is down below uh, in the video description. A lot of that kind of thing and my social media, where to find me on Instagram and all that stuff is in my link tree list of links, which is definitely down in the video description, along with my happy mail address and all that stuff. So check it out. Anyway, let's go to the grocery store because there's definitely a few things we need and I have instructions to get Bob some bread because he has nothing to make a sandwich with for lunch today. God forbid. Not that we didn't eat plenty over the weekend because holy cow, I think I gained two pounds back. <sighs> But anyway, the way to lose weight is not to starve yourself, just to eat better and move more. So anyway, we're gonna do that. All right, I will be back. Let's go get it done. Good morning. I think it's morning. Technically it is for six more minutes. Ha. Huh. Okay. So I have the camera up. Something is up with this particular battery. It doesn't stay charged for more than like three minutes. I don't know. So I do have two other batteries. I'll have to check them anyway. So it's like plugged in. I was filming RC Trio for this next month, which is done. I'm going to work on June's Moody Monday mood board for my Facebook group. And then I need to print the My Creative Year prompts that I haven't done yet because I think there's a couple more that have come out. So that's all on my to-do list today. <sighs> yeah, all right, I guess I better get to it. Um, do some printing and do some creating and then I can go have lunch. And then I have a couple more drawings to do in um, my next watercolor journal. So that's a thing. Plus my bag, can you see it back there? It's kind of bulging. I don't know how I packed it this last time, but obviously I did something wrong because it doesn't usually look like that. All right, I'll be back. Hey, you guys, I think spring is definitely here. As you saw in the previous clip, everything is in bloom. The bees are so loud and there's so many of them. Anyway, it's okay. They won't bother you if you don't bother them. So we'll just keep walking. I'll be back. So we had a beautiful day yesterday. Mid 60s degrees outside, sunny, no rain. Had the back door open. Today it's cloudy, windy and stormy. Yeah, you know. It's also my wedding anniversary. So we've been married 31 years, together 38 years. And how are we celebrating? Well, Bob is off at the dentist getting a crown. <laughs> Poor guy. Um, <laughs> I did some filming for YouTube and I finished up a bunch of filming I wanted to do for this month. And then I am going to spend the rest of today and maybe tomorrow editing and getting things scheduled out for later this month and that early next month. Um, uh, yeah. Finish my bone broth. No, there's not beer in here. I know it's a beer stein. I drink bone broth out of it. Don't get crazy. Anyway, I also got a text message from the daughter saying, mom, I need a hobby. Her husband works at the same company mine uh, does and he is a uh, new, newer hire than my husband who's been there over 20 years. So that me and he's in a different department, which means he travels a lot and she's home alone with the dog a lot. And she's like, I need a hobby when, cause Polly is gone all the time. Welcome to being a lamb research widow. <laughs> anyway. So she said, do you have any embroidery stuff? Like, so I can like learn some embroidery, like hello. So I'm making her a kit, a embroidery kit. And um, she and I will go over some things and, you know, see what she's interested in taking and trying. And yeah, so anyway doing that today along with the video editing and everything else. Hey 
Guys, so I think I said earlier that today is our wedding anniversary. Happy anniversary, dear. Happy anniversary, dear. 31 years married, 38 years together. Anyway, how are we celebrating? We're just going for a walk. I <laughs> know, <laughs> we always do. The thing is, our beach trip was kind of our celebration of our anniversary, so. And then this weekend, we're going to the Frida Kahlo exhibit because Rebecca got us tickets for me for Mother's Day. So, and if I can talk Mr. into it, huh? we'll go by, reclaim it. Oh. Oh. Salvage shop in Portland. Anyway, I'm a little winded because my allergies have been acting up. But you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. All right, we're gonna go get a walk in. It's overcast and cloudy. Overcast and cloudy. Overcast. Oh boy. Overcast. But you know, bright as hell. I need sunglasses. All right. So I'll be back. good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Thursday, May nineteenth. Um, can you see that? Yeah. It's hailing outside. Our poor gardeners are here working on our property and a couple other houses, and I think they're trying to take shelter under the trees. Holy hell. Um, Holy cow. Um, I'm supposed to drive later to go get my hair done. It'll be over by then. I hope so. Yeah, he was crouching underneath that tree. Crouching he, I saw him run to the truck. All right, so it's just before four o'clock. Um, still Thursday the 19th. Uh, I, it's about, um, I don't know. I said just before four. It's about 3.50 or so. I have an appointment at 4.30 and we're going to stop real quick and check the P.O. box on the way. It's on the, literally on the way. Um, I'm going to go get my hair cut and toned. My ends are turning a bit yellow. Um, and I want to keep growing it out, but it's time to get some shape to the grow out. Um, so I look a little less like Einstein married and had children with Medusa. <laughs> so we're going to go take care of that. And uh, yeah, took care of a phone call I needed to make while I was sitting at the stoplight and, you know, got my daily drawings done already. Got my one puzzle game done already. I, th I don't, Bob was supposed to have Lodge tonight, but I think he said that he just found out Lodge is dark, which means they don't have a meeting. So when I get back, if it's not too late or the weather is not too crazy because hello you saw the footage of hail earlier um then we'll go walking so we'll see hey guys so this is the only time my hair is straight like this this one cassandra does it her name is cassandra king she is at, at mint beauty lounge i will put her contact info in the video description if you're in the beaverton hillsboro area go check her out anyway what do you think she gave me some layers she straightened it cut all my yellow ends off she's with me and keeping it in a nice shape while we let it grow out made a nice long visit it was all good anyway i'm gonna go home now and Maybe we'll go walking if it's not crazy weather out. I don't know. I'll be no, it's 4.52 p.m. and I don't think I've vlogged today. Okay. <laughs> I started off this morning with a counseling appointment and then I had to make a quick run to the grocery store for just a couple of things. I went to the kind of expensive one near the house because um, back in Polyus, our daughter and uh, son-in-law are coming to dinner and we didn't have any dessert, so... <laughs> We needed, we needed a couple things. Um, speaking of which, I need to get ready for that in just a minute. So anyway, I've just been otherwise sitting around doing chores and um, playing my puzzle game and nothing super important. <laughs> it's just one of those days. All right, I'll be back. 
so we're out for our pre-dessert evening walk with the kids and crazy pants. Not Bob, Lily. <laughs> um, not Bob, Lily. Crazy pants is Lily, not you. Um, we took our new Buffalo Wild Wing seasonings that we got recently and we seasoned up some chicken and we made Buffalo Wild Wings pizza. It was good. Just putting that out there. They sell it on Amazon. All right, we're gonna go get some steps in. That way I can eat a piece of cake when I get back. All right, I'll be back.
guys, that was worth the money to go see the exhibit again. I loved it. We spent a lot of time looking around at all the artworks and the drawings of both Frida Turn and right Diego and the other uh, Mexican artists and Turn right onto Southwest 10th Avenue. <laughs> her name is Marsha by the way his GPS anyway I wish she'd shut up um, <laughs> and the patrons and supporters as with the beach weekend last weekend kind of got um, feet. Turn left onto Street. with a lot of information and video from the museum trip and um, if you want to get Turn left onto Southwest Taylor Street. that sort of thing then you have to be a patron or supporter and um, so the link for that's down below in my link tree list of links anyway now we're going to go check out Reclaim It which is a salvage type place Use the right lane I keep right seeing their posts on Facebook. I don't know anything about it, so let's go check it out. I'll be back. Claim it, Portland. That's the store right over my shoulder there. It's a nonprofit salvage shop. And I got a big bag of stuff for $17, including another new sugar bowl, because I keep breaking them. It's a thing, don't ask. Anyway, I will be back. And if you're in the Portland area, you like salvaging for art parts, hardware, whatever, they have furniture, they have lots of stuff check them out I'll leave their info in the description below and yeah we'll be making this part of our regular salvaging thrifting days so I think I need to bring the girls here because they would love it maybe the boys too because they have a whole section in the back full of hardware and lumber and lumber ex is expensive right now so yeah, tools, and tools yeah all kinds of stuff anyway all right on to the next thing all right I'll be back taking accidental pictures of myself again. Anyway, if I look tired and bleary-eyed, it's because I probably am. It is nearly midnight, and we have been just enjoying the afternoon once we got home, watching movies and playing puzzle games and, yeah, just enjoying things. It's mm -hmm. been good. 
I haven't gotten my daily drawings done today. I'll do them tomorrow. I'll do tomorrow's and today's tomorrow. I'll do all the daily posts. I've got pictures of the Portland Art Museum I want to post to you all. So I'm going to take care of all that tomorrow and just give myself a break today. Everybody deserves a break now and then, I think. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this week and you're enjoying the channel. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Uh, or if you're a member of my Facebook group, A Life of Art and Self-Expression, you can tag me in a post over there. Feel free. All of my social media, speaking of the group, uh, my Etsy shop, um, all of that stuff. My Patreon is in my link tree list of links, which is down in the video's description with my happy mail address. Not that y'all send me anything. Not that you have to. Anyway, um, have a good week. Have a good weekend. And I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to go out and have a good day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.